Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Uploading Our Website Live on the Web. And in this video, I'm going to briefly show you how you can purchase some hosting and then upload your website, whether it's this site right here that you just coded or a different website that you might want to code afterwards with the skills you've learned live on the web so that you can view it on your own domain name. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up some hosting for your website. If you don't have any already, my first recommendation is to go to bradhussey.ca slash resources. That is my blog's resources section. I list out a bunch of useful resources, tools, applications, and websites to help make your life a little bit easier. They've certainly helped me out. And it's good to know that all these links, for the most part, are my affiliate links, and I will earn a small commission should you decide to make a purchase. The best part is that it is at absolutely no cost to you. Think of it as like a free tip for helping you out. I provide you with a link to a resource. I help you out. You give me a free tip, no cost to you. It's pretty cool. If you don't want to use these links, totally fine. So the first one of my lucky seven I like to call is Just Host. It is my preferred host I use for all my websites and courses and everything like that. You can click on that or you can go to bradhussey.ca slash php host. That'll take you to just host. From here, all you really need to do is just hit get started, fill out the information, purchase a hosting package, and then you'll be sent an email with all of your login information for your control panel and for your FTP protocol. That stands for File Transfer Protocol. I have a course and a few free tutorial videos out how to, to set up hosting really quickly. One of them is on YouTube and it is called how to start a blog in 10 minutes with just host. And I'll provide a link to that. Also, I have a free course called web hosting 101 on Udemy and YouTube. So check those out if you want to know a little bit more about hosting. Once you're up and running, if you're using Coda, what's really great is that it has a built-in FTP. You can also download and purchase different file transfer protocol applications, but my favorite by far is Coda. I've already set up on my web server, bradhussey.ca, a folder called Code PHP. And all I need to do is drag the contents of my final website into the Code PHP directory. Wait a few seconds for that to upload. It's a very small website. It shouldn't take very long. And then navigate to bradhussey.ca slash course slash code PHP. And that should pull up the site. Here it is. I can go through. Check out all the stuff. Everything should work. And then there's the contact form. Perfect. So that's it. That's really how you upload your website via FTP file transfer protocol. And it's good to note that when you buy a hosting package, you need to make sure that it supports PHP. There are a few hosts that don't, uh, but just host and other hosts of a similar value and quality do support PHP. So it's good to know that if you want to build a WordPress site or a PHP site, things like that, it's good to know if they can support PHP. And the host that I recommended most certainly does. So hopefully this lecture was helpful to you and I will see you in the next lecture where we wrap everything up. See you there.